Welcome back to Tabletop Tactics as you join me, the Jinx, bringing fear and terror to the mortal realms today as I bring the spectral hordes of the Night Haunt to bear. Well, you can't bring fear and terror because I've already brought fear and terror to the mortal realms, but I've brought it from the sea! Because I am a sea elf today, it's me, the sea chef. You get it? If you see chef, it's me on the horizon riding on into battle on a shark. What you're going with. Okay, well, with that, let's just get to the lists. It's fish talk because I'm the fish elves today. I am the fish elves today. We're running the Idenf and we're running something that uh, we've not seen before. Uh, it is the Domha Enclave, uh, and the reason for that is because it allows me to redeploy free units. And anything that allows me to redeploy multiple units is fantastic and annoys Katie, so I'm gonna do it. She's staring daggers at me right now off camera, it's brilliant. <laughs> so, leading it up is the Eidolon of Mathlan aspect of the sea. Matalan himself, he will be my warlord general. What general trait did I give him? Oh yes, the one that allows me to cast more spells if I cast it on an unmodified seven. So that's nice. I've not given him an artifact though. He will be going in a warlord battalion alongside an Ishran Tidecaster and a uh, Ishran Soul Render. Yes. Um, in my warlord detachment, I've taken an artifact as an extra enhancement. So I've given the Arcane Tome as an extra enhancement to my Soul Render, which does make him an Andorian Locust. So that's quite useful for these missions and well, specifically the battle tactics. And I've also uh, given my basic artifact to uh, the Tidecaster and I've given him the Dritch Leech, which is an anti-casting aura, so to speak. So that's quite useful in these matchups. Yes, that was it for the characters in the Warlord Battalion. We've also got a unit of Akalian, uh, which are they? The Ish, are they the Moor Saga? I don't know, this is like my first time using them. The stabby ones, the ones that are shielded rather than the, the no, the shieldy ones rather than the stabby ones. Good, good. Uh, Good differentiation there. Um, the more Sargard, that's it. We then go over to my battalion. Battle Regiment Battalion. So my brain is not engaged this morning. So we have an Akkadian Thrall Master in there, as well as Lotan, the Ledger of the Souls. Ledger of the Souls, I think that's his title. And they are leading up because I'm Dom Har and I want lots of Namati. I've got two units of 10 Namati Reavers, and I have a unit of 20 Namati Frawls and a unit of 10 Namati Frawls. I also have two Akalian Alapexes dotted about amongst the um, regiments. Yes, so I've got one in the battle regiment and I've got one in the warlord just because I can. And then because I had some points left over, I have taken an Emerald Life Swarm so I can just keep my Namati Frawls topped up, which combined with the Soul Scry can get quite silly. That is the list, it's 2,000 points. Uh, I would say on my nose, uh, the elves of the sea do have uh, noses, but they don't have eyes. So, I am now one with the fish. Ooh, I'm a go, so spooky. It is the night haunt today, again. This is my second time running them. I've got pretty much our entire collective army in the list today. I think I'm missing like a single unit. So showing off pretty much everything that we have and all the beautiful models that Fletcher has painted for you. I will be taking the Emerald Host today because it's what makes the most sense with the units we currently own. So that's why I'm doing it. And my general is the Spirit Torment. Torment. I've given him the terrifying entity general trait. We do have Lady Alinda in here because she's fabulous and I do have Raikonor the Grim Hailer. He didn't really do much for me the last time I used him, so hopefully I can use him a bit better this time. I have a cheeky Tomb Banshee thrown in for good measure, and I have the Knight of Shrouds. I've given him an Artifact of Power, and that Artifact of Power is the Pennant of the Fell Wind. So hopefully get him into combat and cause, again, even more shenanigans, which is my favorite thing to do. It is my very best, and I'm a spoopy little ghost. For my battle line, I do have a unit of Spirit Hosts, I have a unit of Grimgast Reapers, and then I have a reinforced unit of Chain Rasps. We do have the Black Coach. 
again, he's such an amazing model and he's done some really cool, cool stuff for me in the past. So hopefully he does some more today. And then the rest of the list, I have the Craven Throne, Craven Thorn Throne. I always think it should be Craven Thorn because that makes more sense, but no, Craven Throne Guard, which is really difficult to say. A unit of those, I have a unit of Chain Ghasts. I have the Myrmidon Banshees and I have Blade Ghast Revenants. The only unit I am missing from this list that we own is the Script Immortus, which is very sad because I've not used him yet and I think he's one of the coolest models despite not being very good, but maybe I'll use him at some point in the future if the points change again and we get more models, maybe we'll see. It is not quite 2,000 points on the nose, it is 1980 points on my spectral cheek, which is very sad, but it means I get a triumph, which is happy, yay! Today's battle plan is Nexus Collapse, a pitched battle from the General's Handbook. Six predetermined objective markers are placed onto the battlefield. At the start of each battle round, the player with the fewest victory points can choose to collapse up to two objectives. A dice is rolled for each unit within six inches of any collapsed objectives, and on a 4+, plus, they take D3 mortal wounds. Further rules and information can be found in the General's Handbook. Did you know our content is only made possible by our on-demand members? Download our app or head to our website now to sign up and see our entire library of battle reports, podcasts, hobby shows and more. Seize the initiative and become an on-demand boss today. Wellity, 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 wellity. Is that because I found you down a well? Because that's the only... No, you were looking, for souls, you were looking for souls down the well and I've, I've already eaten them. Nom, 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 nom. So why do we fight? Because both of us want souls and there are no souls here, so should we just go harvest Ivy. souls elsewhere? <sighs> should we go Dutch? Sure. 50-50? Like yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Well, that's that. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. <laughs> good game. Um, thank you all so much yep. for supporting uh, us. Not one casualty other than the poor village. But yeah. no one cares about I that. I mean, no one cares. The souls were consumed. They didn't deserve them anyway. Right. <laughs> Um, I, I deployed first. You did deploy first because um, you had two battle regiments. Yes, I had two battle, two drops two instead drop. of the one drop. Two drop. I had multi-drop Yes, you, I like extra toys. Yeah, I do understand. That does make sense. I will be taking the first turn because I want to. Um, I've deployed as far forward as I can. Yeet. Yeet. I barely made combat last time. I want to do a bit more this time. I understand. Yes. Maybe the lights will get turned off again. Ooh, oh, that was weird. That was spooky. <laughs> Spoopy too spoopy. Scary. And it was the Tomb Banshee, I think it was killing the Tomb Banshee that did it. Yeah. So you know if you, you mess with her, bad stuff's going to happen to the studio. Therefore you need to let me win. No. No. Battle round one. Indeed. My turn. Indeed. Um, I've gone with one stop, no return for my battle tactics, so I need to get my black coach within three inches of that objective and own it. Which, with some shenanigans, is doable. I know you can redeploy and, and, and stuff, but I can, it's fine. I, I can, can manage it. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, because I'm going second, I can redeploy up to three Namati units, so that's nice for me. It's fine. It's fine. You do you. Um, for the magic and the spells, there's all of my spells are offensive. Mm -hmm. None of them are in range, so I did get an arcane bolt off yep. with Raikonor just, just in case. Um, and we both have a Primal Magic dice. Yes, we're going to play it co correctly this time around. Thank you for people in the comments for letting us know. Um, that's what happens when you try and film and uh, have to read the book a day before filming. Yeah. Um, so we've both get, got a Primal Magic dice. Um, your Emerald Curse only went off twice. But you yeah, only went off twice and curse. I picked both of the sharks because the sharks scare me. Why? Because I got absolutely murdered by them. Did I, have I even played against the Iden? No, I got murdered by them, Katie. Every just game, to every be game I've ever seen with the Iden, the sharks have murdered stuff, and it makes me sad. I've only got so. two. I don't like them. Fun fact, viewers, I think I mean, the only time the sharks have been run with all the sharks has been against me twice. So that's fun for everybody, but oh, James. not James. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in terms of Ishran rituals, because I declare those after um, the term one is decided, um, I have the Ritual of the Surging Stream, which is plus one to run and charge uh, when I'm in the Flood Tide, so turn two. Mm -hmm. um, and because I have a Tide Caster down here, I get to pick a second one, which I've gone for the Ritual of Deep Sight, which is all my Namata units get a five up ward in High Tide, which That's is turn nice. three. So nothing just yet. Um, obviously being... Um, Iden F, you can only shoot the closest target, but yes. your shooting is very close range. I, I, anyway. have, I have one shooty thing. Two. Two shooty things. Two. Three you've gone shooty things. The Tomb Banshee does shoot. 
She does shoot, yeah. But that is specifically shooting attacks, not yeah. lifting the veil. Um, so that's cool. And I don't think there's anything else preamble to do. Oh, I got a CP oh. on my Achaelian Thrall Master down here. I did not get here. a CP. You got nothing. I rolled a one. First things first, in the movement phase, we are going to attempt to get my grand strategy, and I've not placed him in the most helpful of ways for me to be able to move him. Okay, we're going to do this without damaging any of my models. Good luck. Over here. Rawr. I am spending a command point on at the double for this unit to be able to get as many within range of the objective as I can. I've run with my Blade Geist Revenants, so they will just be moving forward. Whee. I decided not to redeploy because there was no real way that I was going to get, because you've currently got 14 models with, just with the Chain Ghast and the Black Coach on that objective, so I'd need to get 15 in range, which Ooh. just isn't going to happen. So I've left it for now. Maybe I'll redeploy here. My Knight of Shrouds is just going to move normally up to here. And the Grim Ghast Reapers are going to move up and around him. Oh, they're all kind of stuck together, like best friends. The Banshees themselves have also run up behind. Essentially, it is the Great Yeetening. Everything is just moving forward. My Chain Ghasts and their leader friend. I the it Spirit is. Torment. The Spirit Torment. They've both advanced, so they can get in good range to give out their buffs and auras. So they're just moving up. And everything else is moving up as well, so we'll just do that quickly now. That's my movement. Everything has just yeeted forward. Mm. Um, and I have one bit of shooting because it's seeing the black coach who is in range. I have one attack with my Soul Reach Grasp. Do I'm I doing an uh, all-out defense with my free one Reiters. with the Achaelian Thrall Master. Reavers? Reavers. Those are thralls, but fine. Well, I don't care because I don't even hit you. Some attempts to charge and then that might just be my turn. Do you want to just do it now? Do you know what? You've yes, I will. You've got two units that could attempt to charge? Um, they've I... charged. Uh, they've advanced. So the... It's the Reapers and the uh, Night Shrouds. Yes. So the Reapers? Your choice. No. You need a ten. So... No. No. It's a lot. And I'm not going to attempt the Night Shrouds on his own. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Not on his own. Die. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Don't try and bait me into something you know I don't want to do. Okay. And that is my turn. Well done, you. Well done, me. I did get my battle tactic. Yep. Um, is it hold? What is the? It's hold one, hold. So it's uh, so in this mission, Nexus Collapse. It's hold one, hold two, hold more. Okay. Battle tactic. Um, in addition, from round two onwards, stuff starts exploding. I love that. That's so good for me. So I am holding one, two, and more. Yay! Points. Okay, turn one for the Idenf Deep Kin. Uh, we both gained a CP from the uh, heroic leadership. Yes. I've got it on my Thrall Master. I have it on my Spirit Torment. Yeah. Lock and Key Man. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> um, neither of us gained a primal magic dice, and I have chosen lead into the maelstrom. Because that seems cool. Yeah. Uh, Magic-wise, uh, we successfully cast Mystic Shield onto my Alapex down here. Um, my Arcane Tome-bearing Soul Scryer managed to cast an Arcane Bolt. Mm -hmm. The Tide Caster did kill three of the Blade Geists with That's Riptide, which is very nice, and also puts a minus one to hit on them, which is cool. Uh, down here, the Eidolon of Mathland, Aspect of the Sea. Uh, annoyingly, uh, his really good spell, Tsunami of Terror, which is D3 enemy units within 12 inches, are minus one to their saves. Uh, well, I'm playing against ghosts, they don't care. So uh, he cast Cloying Sea Mists um, and killed a Chain Ghast. Great success. Chain Rasp, um, just because it's only a 12 inch range. Uh, he then successfully managed to cast uh, Emerald Life Swarm, but you dispelled it because of Primal Magic. So we both so used Primal, we both magic, used primal magic on it, and there was it was very high casting. Yeah. I got like a 14, and then you denied it on a 16. Yeah. It was great. I am a legend. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, and that's it. Is that it? That's it Would in you terms like to of. Move? Uh, I mean, I, yes, I would. I would. Yes, I would. Okay. I will. You can. Thanks. Yay. The first unit of Namati Frawls. Just moving up this way. The Tidecaster running up to join, and the Soul Render also ran as well. 
The Reavers just moving up alongside so that they can get their bows in range. Oh, I did leave enough room for you to fit, but your fin has caused me as issue. There we go. Good, good, good job. The Ishlayan Guard, I think I called them Morsar Guard in my list, but they are Ishlayan Guard, uh, swimming over this way so that we might make a cheeky little charge. Are you going to use your redeploy at any chance? Maybe. Okay. Alapex number two. Uh, just over three inches away. The great shuffling of the Namati Thralls because of your chain rasps blocking off my advance. So I guess I'll just have to murder them. Oh no. Lotan is going to just go here and garrison my Gloom Tide shipwreck, or half of it. And the Kaelin Thrall Master is just going to move down to here so he can lead his warriors into the maelstrom. Idolan of Mavlan, aspect of the sea, like a crashing wave. So elegant. So much poise and power. The poise, the power, the presence. Like a horrible waterfall, uh, we will jump through this window and we still have a few extra inches of movement allowing me to just move along here. Um, I'm going to have to do this quite carefully and measure it quite carefully. But for all intents and purposes, that's what I'm doing. Peeping out the windows. Like a waterfall of doom. We will begin the shooting phase with the Eidolon of Maflan aspect of the sea. The Eidolon of the Maflan. <laughs> yes. Into your Mayamon Banshee. Yes, I'm using my free command point from my friend um, to give them to corporate. The spirit torment. Yes. It's very uh, D3 shots. It's the big free. Uh oh. Freeze and freeze. Okay. Rend is irrelevant. I hit you twice. Mm -hmm. I wound you once. I you love not. it. Okay. Fine. The Alapex on this flank into the Mayamon Banshees. Okay. Uh, hit you once. It's going well for you so yeah. far, isn't it? I wound you no time. Okay. Oh, oh yep. yeah, going really, really, really going well. Yeah. Well, it was a four on the floor. That doesn't mean Anybody do the dinosaur? No, they're not in this game. <laughs> Such a shame, though. The next Alakalian Al Alapex, then. Um, can't shoot the Mayamon Banshees because Wildwood, that's the footprint. Um, so instead, we'll shoot at the Gringarth Reapers because they are close Eek. to the edge. Much like I'm becoming. <laughs> um, two, As you deserve yeah, to be. Uh, because I've got loads of CP, I'm going to spend one on all-out attack here from one of my characters down here okay. into that. Because I don't want a repeat of the last I round of shooting. Oh, is it the exact same? No, no. The, no, the last time was two twos. So that's yeah. what I was anticipating and I rolled three ones. Okay then, that's fine. Right. <laughs> Do you need a moment? This is not going well, so... N no. <laughs> right. We'll do the Namati Reavers on the flank here. Uh, four of them are... Uh, oh, sorry, four of them. Two of them are just in range of these uh, chain rasps, rasps but no nothing else. The others will be going into the Grim Gasps. Yes. So, into the chain rasps. Okay. I hit you all of the times. That's better. There you go. I wound you three times. That's better. Okay, five ups. Uh, damage one. And then six ups. I two killed two of them. Two. All right, all right. Into the Grim Guards. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. It's okay. It's because you, it's, it's you're a combat army. That's the problem. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds. They have a four up. They do. Okay, damage one again. One. Okay, okay. I kill killed another two another Grim Guards. Two. Consistent. Mm. Final bit of shooting. The Reavers in the middle here. Um, Five of them are going into the Grimgasts, and five of them are going into the Bladegeists. Okay. Into the Grimgasts. Okay, I'm not within nine of these, so I don't get the plus one to hit here. Okay. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's much better, lads. Six wounds, please. Six wounds. Okay. And then a six expected. up. Warts. Okay. Two more die. So there's five left in the... Five left. Grimgast. Cool. Into the blade guys. Okay. You're slowly improving as we go through I the am, phase. yes. I just I needed You'll to hit your I needed to warm up. Combat. The currents are cold. We're in the Atlantic and I want to be in the Pacific. I understand. That's warm waters. That's, see? Six again into Six. your blade guys. Consistent. Consistency. I love it when things work out. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Ward save. All right, at One least I kill does. another blade, guys. Okay, okay. fine. Uh, that could have gone a lot better, lads, but that's okay because now we're going to charge. 
I like this. We will start with two simple charges. The Alapex on this flank. Yes. Okay. Basically, just to go swim, like that. Swim, 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 swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just wants to be in the sea. Uh, and Eidolon of Mathlan. Aspect of the sea. Yes. Yes. Wee. Right. We now have the Namati Frawls and the Ishlayan Guard and the Akalian Frawl Master, but I need to think now about the order in which I do them. Right. After careful consideration, we're going to start with the Namati Frawls. A oh, ten. Okay. It's a big can, old they charge. Can, they can go wherever they want. And I'm going to do that now because the blocking is still a concern. Yeah. Well, with that big ten-inch charge, I've managed to get them all around yeah. into multiple units, which is very nice indeed. Now the Frawl Master. A six, exactly what he okay. needs to go into Whee. here, which is very nice indeed. It wouldn't have been a big deal if he did fail. And now I'll do the Ishlayan Guard. A five. Well, not as much as I was hoping, but they do have fly, so it's enough. So one more charge to do. That Alapex can make an 11-inch charge into those uh, Craven Throne Guard. Remove those old dice. No. I, I've got so many CP oh. that are being lost, I'm going to spend it from my... Tidecaster. Why, Why not? not? Treat yourself. Oh, I saw but the not, six not quite that much. Mm. That's okay. It's all right. That was just more of a, yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe you can do something this turn, but never mind. Right. Uh, let's do some fighting. We will begin the fight phase with the Namati Frawls, and the Akalian fighting stance from the Frawl Master is the <laughs> way of the depths. Uh, which is reroll ones my to shield, hit, um, because I'm going to use his free CP to give them all out attack, because... You have so many CP, why wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, because of the range and the way that I am... Um, <laughs> you personally. I, I meant in terms of the position of yeah. the board, but also the way that I am. I, it's a four-way split. <laughs> so, we've got 18 attacks into the Chain Rasps. We've got six attacks into the Coach. We've got 12 attacks into the Reapers. And we've got 10 attacks into the Knight of Shrouds. I will be using a command point on Discorporate for the Knight of yep. Shrouds because he has the I fight something else fights ability, so maximum fightings. Yes. For me, hopefully. Uh, now, you are minus one to wound on them because of the Knight of Shrouds yes. uh, amulet of the Fell Wind. Pendant of the Fell Wind. I was so close. Uh, but fortunately, Lotan is here, so he gives me plus one to wound in combat. It offsets, which is nice. So it'll be twos and threes, re-rolling ones to hit. We will start with the Chain Rasps. Here we go. Here we go. I hope... Well, I hit all the times. Okay. No re-rolls required. This is very good. Freeze to wound. Okay. okay. Dropped a few. Dropped a couple there. That's fine. So there's four, uh, 11, so five up, six nine, ups, please. Oh, I had 12 in my hand. Ah, oh, so close so to close. greatness. So close. Uh, five up for them. Yes. Not shabby. And then six is... What's your damage here? Just one. Oh, yeah, just one. They damage two against anything with three or more wounds. Okay. So two, on your characters and Two, four, coach. six, seven are gone. Okay, seven slain. Not okay. bad. We will then go over to the uh, coach. So we've got six attacks here. These will be damaged two on the coach because okay. you are chonky. I'm so large. Reroll the ones for my way of the dips. I hit you all the time. Wounding on freeze. I do drop three there, frustratingly. Three? So, How three many? saves. Two, three saves. Uh, four up. <coughs> and then he does have a five up. He does, yes. So he's, these but are, these two are damage two, yeah. Okay. So, three damage on to him. I'll take that. Over onto the Reapers. Yeah. We roll those ones there. Very nice. And then freeze to wound you. Yeah. Oh dear, that minus one to wound is kicking mm. in quite nicely. Oh, Helpful. that's terrible. Four, five, five wounds. Enough to kill the five. unit, I think. Maybe. Yes. Maybe not, but that's okay. Sixes. Okay, so I kill another two, two there. Not dead. I'll just mark that down here. And this is a relatively important one. Onto the Knight of Shrouds. The Knight of the Shrouds? I can re-roll the ones. I hit you all of the times. Right. Fine. Freeze to wound you. To wound. Good. The minus one again, coming in quite important. Seven. But that is seven. Four ups. Okay, uh, six damage. How he many wounds does he have? Five wounds. Okay, so you need to pass two of these. Uh, six. Six damage, yeah. But five you do ups. have a five up. He has a wound remaining. Okay, that's fine. Not too bad. I'll let you remove some casualties and then uh, we'll move on to your next unit. Well, your first hmm. unit, I suppose. 
Nine tip shouts, I'm gonna go into eels. Ooh. Because they've not fought, and then I've also got the opportunity to, to move in with certain things. So, five attacks, hitting threes. Okay. Uh, there's no point doing all-out defense here because I have a biovoltaic barrier. Auto wound? Yes, you are a ghost! I am a ghost. That is three wounds. Okay, I Did have a free save? up save on the charge. I love it! Okay, well then I am going to oh, activate... Oh, don't destroy your own things. I'm going to activate with my revenants next and move them in. Okay. Like guys, revenants. Um, yeah. They are getting the plus one hit because they are next to the... Spirit Chain Gars? Chain Gars. Yeah. We did forget that with the Night Shrouds, but it didn't make didn't any make. difference. So, twos and threes. Okay. Uh, there's two auto wounds. Mm -hmm. Threes to then wound you with the rest of these. Mm -hmm. e mm. oh, it's pronounced eels, not e. I was making an unrelated noise. Seven? Seven. Seven. Three up saves, uh, damage one, right? Yes. Uh, two go through. Okay, cool. You are damaged. Yes. The Alapex has piled around the uh, single chain rasp there. Uh, I have sort of tagged Raikonor within the three inches. He would be your doom. I mean, he could be. Um, I'm going to put all my attacks into the black coat. I coach. understand I am very scary. Um, I do get plus one attack on my ferocious bite because you have wounds allocated to you. Um. But we'll start with my barbed hooks and blades. Yes. Freeze and freeze. I don't get to reroll the ones here because that's only for the Marty units from his fighting style. Uh, two wounds there. Two wounds. These are damage one. Oh, into the tray. One, and then he has a five up. He does have a five up. Shrug. He's fine. Loves it. And then chomp, 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 chomp. Chompity, chomp, chomp, chomp. Clearly he was hungry. That's why he was he missing. What the stackies. Clearly he was Ooh. hungry. Uh, these are two damage. Um, okay. Cool. Right. So then two shrugs. Dang. Yeah, he takes two wins. So he's taking right. five so far. That's fine. I'm like to activate. Did the chain rust quickly off camera and yeah. funnily enough did do a single wound to Idol and Matalan of the Sea and two yeah. wounds to your uh, shark. Yeah, bear in mind Hilarious. that the shark had Mystic Shield up so I had a free up save and I rolled a double one. So And of course I uh, have a yeah. free up save with Idol and Matalan. I've got loads of CP, nothing else to use it on. So I thought, why not? Let's give him a two up save with all out defense. So of course eh. the roll of one. I'm a ghost. Take that. <laughs> That's my life at the moment, it yeah. seems. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, my uh, Deep Sea Scepter into them, because it's only an inch range. Yep. I'm going to put my fish into them from the sh with their sharp fangs into them. But I'm going to do my, my side trident into uh, the, the coach. coach. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So uh, let's start with some fish. Fishies. 2d6 attacks. Eight. Eight little okay. fishies. My hope here is that they stay alive so I can use... Um, insane bravery? Insane bravery on them. Makes sense. So it's that I can resurrect brave. them. Uh, I wound you four times with four. the fish. Fives. Sixes. Been eaten by a shoal of piranhas. Three die. Uh, the deep sea scepter. Yes. I hit you twice. I wound you once. Once. Ah, dropping dice. I'm not. Damage one. Bonks another on the noggin. Four gone. And now his side trident. Uh, three attacks here. This is into the shark? Uh, no, this is this into, into the coach. It's not into my shark, no. <laughs> Sorry. I'm um, very confused, but this is into the coach. It is into the coach. Okay. I wound you twice. These are damage two Perhaps. if we get to that step. Five ups. Damage okay. one. So I've halved him. Half. Interesting. And I killed a couple of ghosty boys. But they're not dead yet. yet. Time for the Grimgast Reapers to see what they can do into your... Namati thralls. Correct! Yes, look at me getting there. Don't know my units, but I'm learning yours. So that's <laughs> the important thing. Um, I'm going to go with the slasher size first. Mm -hmm. Plus one to hit. Yep, from your chain ghasts. <laughs> Took me a second there. So they're hitting on threes. Is that all the attacks you get? Um, I do also have the death now. Oh, the death now separate. Right, right, right. Yeah, because I was like, they get extra attacks, but it's the death now. Uh, just the two. Just the Minus two? One. No auto wounds? No, I didn't get any. Okay. Uh, minus one, you say. Well, interestingly, I count as being in cover. Sure. Although I charge, which means I don't get cover. So but that seems. Do it correctly. Well, no, I'm just I'm trying to work out if that's how it works. But yes, that is. Okay. So um, six up saves. Six ups. Okay. Damage one. I and do then... get a five up ward for being <gasps> next to my ship. The fish swim out and go, no, no leave no, them alone. No, it's like flounder. No, my friend. Uh, you do kill one. Okay, and the death knell. Boom. But one enemy model did die, so that goes Yay. up to two. Fish laying guard. 
bit of a split because you I want to try and kill that Knight of Shrouds. So one of them is going into the Knight of Shrouds, the other two are going into the Blade Geist Revenants. Uh, into the Blade Geist Revenants, the champ is there. Yes. Let's start with them. Seven attacks from my Hell Sabers. Uh, it'd be freeze and freeze because of the varying minuses and buffs that are, that are going, going on down here. Uh, I do hit you only the three times. Okay. These are the elite of the army. Uh, I do wound you three times, however. Fours. Uh, these are damage one. Damage one, so I have sixes. So, kills two. And now the eels! Oof. Showing the riders how it's done. This is always the way with fantasy. Uh, yep, there we go. The mounts always do better than the riders. And these are still into the... These are into the thing, but these are D3 damage. Eels! That's, uh, that's the, no. D3? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. seven. Six, seven. I can't math. I know. Mm -mm. Not my strong suit. No. Not a bad roll. That's not a bad roll. Uh, so that's a further four on top of the two, which I think is the unit gone. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. The elite Perfectly. slaying fish. Uh, now into the Knight of Shrouds, the leader. The leader? The musician? No, the icon bearer. Good lord. Uh, he wounds you three times. Three wounds. One, two, three. You know, don't stress. One damage. Five up here. No, he's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> the other eel's just like, oh, oh. I don't get to no, eat anything. No. Well, to be fair, I am a incorporeal form. It's a bit hard for an eel to snack on. Mm. I can all the Grim Hailer next. Ghostly hoofs and tuffs uh, off camera, because hoofs and tuffs. And in true hoofs and tuffs fashion, two wounds. Two wounds on a free up say. <laughs> that poor wounds. shark. Four wounds remaining for my fell Reaper. Threes and threes. Okay. That's an auto wound in there. Yep. That, you, you won't die. Yeah. I am cursed. You are cursed. Uh, what is the minus? A two. Ooh. Mm. Nope, goes for damage. I have two wounds remaining. Right for Perfect a, for a cursing. Right for a cursing. The Acadian Thrallmaster. He oh, thinks okay. he's gonna be somebody. He isn't. So he's gonna kill the black coach. No. You can't kill a black coach. I'm unkillable. I'm already dead. You cannot kill what does not live. I hit you all the times. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm wounding you on fine. twos because of low town and warden the soul legend. Fine. So of course I rolled two ones. So three. Uh, three wounds. It is enough to kill you. He's damaged two. He's damaged two. So I can't, like, if I don't save anything, but if I save at least one thing, force. Okay, it's four damage. Fives. I mean, he was pretty close to greatness. He's taken three wounds off you. I'll take it. But I am alive. Yeah. I am alive. The black coach is putting everything into your Namati thralls just to see how many of them I can murder. Uh, the hills and turfs and the spectral colors between them have killed two. two. Uh, but now the time for the soul reach grasp, which does not hit. Because I could have all out attacked here, but your attacks are done, so now I I'm know done. I have a yeah. command point left for insane bravery. Um, and uh, yeah, that is, that is it. All the that combat is, is done. That is um, it. Um, I do so have a battle shock to take on the revenants. You do. Let's just quickly roll that now. Two, and then I've lost. Your bravery is ten, right? Yeah. You've lost seven, so you don't care. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I will spend CP on the insane bravery. On the insane bravery. Very good. Um, I'm not within twelve with my uh, soul scry uh, my soul render for an arcane bolt. Good. Um, because I could have done it with the, um, to kill the Knight of Shrouds. I can or can though. Yep. He's within three. So it's D3. He, my shark is dead. Before you even cursed it. Before you even cursed it. <laughs> I, I um, think that's good luck on my half, behalf, if I can kill you before the curse yep. comes in. Um, Ooh, now what the Soul Render does do is bring D3 of my Namartis back. One. Okay, fine. So I still at least killed one. It's not so bad. Uh, you did kill a shark. I did. Um, but I did hit you very hard there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Killing the Blade Geists and the Knight of Shrouds was quite <sighs> nice. Now, you do, of course, have... I'll bring three models back yes. with the uh, Spirit Torment. And also Lady Alinda. And Lady Alinda's going to do D6. So I've not dented a huge amount in terms of like the Reapers or anything, but that's okay. What so about your points? Let's just do a little swapsy doodle. Swapsy doodle. What about the points? That is a very good question. So, uh, I've reclaimed this objective, mm -hmm. and I currently have that objective. So I've got two. You, not, none of us have that objective. Okay. I have one, that one and that two, one. Uh, three. So I'm not holding more. That's fine. 
Now, weirdly, that's not a bad place to be in because it means I get to do the explodies. Going what are you going to explode? Two. Well, I will determine that after we're off a priority. Okay. Please. Me? Please. Okay, I'll double turn you then. Okay. <laughs> Start of battle round two, and just before we go into my hero phase, we're going to collapse some objectives. Uh, this one, and the one underneath yes. your spirit host. So they are removed from the battlefield, but yes. uh, also everything within six takes D3 Ooh. mortal wounds on a four plus. So we've measured it up. Uh, we'll start with the ones down here on the spirit hosts. They evade it. Okay. On the chain Unit. ghasts, mm -hmm. they avoid it. The on character? the spirit torment, he avoids it. Okay. That one's done, fine. Over here, it's just Raikonor and Alinda. On Raikonor, yes, he takes one mortal wound. Okay, does he? Yes. yes. Okay. Lady Alinda, yes, she takes three mortal wounds. She takes three mortal wounds. Nice. Okay, that was Mark far more up. successful than that. Yeah. Um, we also uh, did do the curse for the shark down here. He took Cursed. two wounds. Cursed. Right, now we'll do my hero phase proper. Okay, I'm going to wound up my models. Hero phase, uh, no magic was cast because you've got my more banshees. Num, 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 and num, literally tasty, everything is within 12. Magic. Um, so even casting spells uh, on myself was, was failing. Um, so never mind. Um, so no spells went off. I did get a CP with my uh, Thrall Master down here for my heroic action. You did not with Lady Linda, but you did get a CP for uh, the uh, optimal focus battle plan thing. Um, I've taken Intimidate the Invaders because it's the only one that is possible for me to do. Currently, I've not done it, but it's, it's, yeah. possi it's possible for me to do it, so that's fine. Um, now, I can run and shoot or charge. I don't get to do both, so that gives me some flexibility in doing that. So let's go to my movement. We will begin the movement with the Alapex just swimming along this way to be three inches away. The, the Marty Frawls here rolled a whopping six on their run, so they are coming over to try and cleave up some ghosts. You within nine will... inches. What? You within nine inches? Uh, I am, if you want to redeploy. I'm, t I'm, I'm well within nine inches. I'm three inches away from you. You just might. Okay, you do that. The Tidecaster and the Soul Render just moving over to here to provide their support. And then the Reavers have run and will be electing to shoot. But we will make sure that we are wholly outside of my territory. I also did redeploy. One whole inch. Oh. We ran with these Reavers. We only rolled a one, but that's fine because we are still quite swift enough to just make sure that we... Oh, two for one special. <laughs> Going over to here. And also, of course... Majestic. They're majestic elves. And so on and so forth. The Namati Reavers that have just delicately. <laughs> like, gracefully. Gracefully and delicately say. jumped down from the uh, window. Uh, they will be shooting into the Black Coach. Um, four of them are out of nine inches, which means they don't get the plus one to hit from the Ripples in the Aether Sea ability. Just because it allows me to say that. Darn. That's cool. Yeah. So, eight shots hitting on okay. freeze. This is better. Clearly, they just needed to see the whites of your eyes. Up. Yeah. Five wounds. Five. Fours. Damage one? Just damage one, yep. Fives. I cannot. Okay, we'll move on to the ones hitting on twos then. Okay, you do that. I still roll four ones. <laughs> It's, like, it's okay. like someone's looking down yeah. at you going, no. Uh, I've wounded you five times, please. Five. Okay. Five ups. Again. Oh, it's got one wound remaining. <gasps> what okay. a great day okay. to be me. Well, that's all right, because I'll go over to no. the Eidolon of Mathlan no. aspect of the sea. No. Into you, because I'm within three inches, so I'm allowed to. I'm hoping that you can't see Well, me. I get three shots. I, I get it. I hit you all the time. Okay. I wound you twice. Okay. Fours. He's a damage two. I don't want to alarm anyone, but Katie does have a tendency to roll lots of five up ward saves when it's okay or not. <laughs> <laughs> More Reavers into the Grimgast Reapers. Oh, they're like yeah. friends. Um, I will use the free command point from Lady Linda to. Discorporate. Discorporate. Um, oh, what did we call it ages ago? 
uh, was it all out spoopy? All out spoopy defense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've hit once with the one that's within nine inches, so the rest of the shots miss quite okay. a few times. Okay. So this many plus one from the. What is that many? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Not many. Ooh, Not many five? at all. Five. Four ups. And then five ups. That's two. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I just have my shark to do. No, that's not a shark noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that's a shark noise. It, no, it is a shark. You know, like, have you seen the, the cat? Uh, there's like cats with like uh, shark outfits. Mm. It's a cat. Nat. It's actually just a cat. The Alapex will fire its harpoon launcher into your spirit host. Okay. So I can't see anything else. No. I hit you three times. Again, this is better. They needed to, to, to warm up. I wound you three times. Just see my craving. Yeah, but I want to eat them. You can't eat a spectral form. I can't hurt a spectral form either. I don't think they do have a four up. They I do think. have a four up, so I win. You join us in the combat phase because the charges couldn't really fail. Uh, I mean, they could have done, but I had CP to reroll it, and I got plus one to charge because of my uh, Ishran ritual. I rolled a nine for the thralls. Feels a bit unnecessary. Well, you know, you know what was unnecessary? Yeah, the what double, was unnecessary? the double six plus one yeah. for the shark. So 13 inch yeah. charge. Unlucky for you. Okay, I'm enacting my defensive stance. Very good. Well, we are actually going to kick off with the Eidolon of Mathman aspect of the sea. Uh, his fish have eaten a, a chain rasp already. Oh, I told you you can't eat spectral forms. They did this, they went. It's more inhaling than Sucked eating. up your soul. No. Which is impressive because you don't have one. Exactly. Okay, the deep sea scepter. I hit you twice. The deep sea scepter. I wound you twice. I swear I'm not a healthy meal. I wound you once. Damage one. But do you? Yes. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> yes you do. And now the side trident. Okay. I hit you twice. I wound you twice. Because I'm within 12, holding within 12 of low turn aspect of this reward on you. Damn it. Never mind. Your turn to attack me. Yay. Oh, and for what it's worth, I'm doing reroll ones to hit from his yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting stance. Grimgast Reapers. I was about to send a command point on all out attack. I don't need to because I have friends giving me all out attack natively for free. So I'm going to go with my slasher sides. Everything is going into your Namati thralls. I'm doing all out defense on them. Uh, it doesn't I cost understand. me a CP because my Achaelian thrall master. My sixes to auto wound is not coming up too much today. Uh, that is two wounds, minus one. Five up save. Okay. Damage one. Five up what? Because I'm still in range of my boat? Yes, I must be because I didn't move. Literally not moved. It doesn't matter, I'm dead anyway. And then my death knell. Bong. There you go, there's my auto wound. Minus. Minus one. One damage. My rolling Yay. has just like not been the one today. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just not been the one. Yeah, you killed two. Yeah. Ooh. Then a Marty falls into the into the crossbows. Cross if I scare you away, you're going to run away and stop attacking me. That's how it works, right? They can't no. see you, though. Freeze to wound. We've got no eyes. Uh, freeze to hit, even. I need to do that first. Uh, do you drop quite a few <laughs> just away? hear the ooh noises. Ooh. I mean, the ooh noises are very scary to hear. If you can't see anything, that's all you can hear. You'd probably be pretty scared. I mean... You know, middle of the night, can't see anything, pitch black, or you hear the it's quite scary. Uh, I believe it's middle of the night, pitch black, you're by yourself in a car, in a lane, and you hear a girl giggling. Isn't that right, James? Oh, don't Hello. stop it. He's told you that it's happened again. Oh, no, I have a time, I haven't updated you with this story. Right, you, you, you <laughs> update her and the audience to the Sally I'm saga. Sorry. I'll roll some or dice. Should we save that from the end, like a little fireside story? Oh, sure. At the end of the video, we'll save it. We'll save it. Oh, or a Are You Afraid show. of the Dark was a good show. Better that than Goosebumps. Show. I couldn't watch either because they were too spoopy for me. Were they too spoopy? For <laughs> they Goosebumps too... was um, top tier sort of. Do I look like the kind scares. of person that can handle being scared? It is 14 wounds, by the way. Six. Um, I think they've got the entirety of the uh, Goosebumps series uh, on uh, Oh, don't, 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 they do even, indeed. don't even do they the do. theme. I, 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 I rewatched it. Like it. it. All I'm saying is, is for a kid's show from the early 90s, it held up quite well. I don't yeah. like it. it I like believe, background viewing. I, I like think viewing. Ryan Gosling's in one of them as like he a 13-year-old. I'm dead. Excellent. Which means that there's no one within three inches of them, so because I'm Dom Hain, I get to charge. Go on. 
Do what you must. That's an ele uh, that's a 10 because I get plus one. So I'll go into the thing. I get to activate them again as well. Not immediately. Oh. I've done the chain rasp, so I did one wound. You did a master. wound to my thrall master. He fights you back. His eel punch, uh, punch. didn't do anything. But now his attacks. Right. Okay. Maybe I have a chance. Yeah, okay. Only the one. Maybe I have a chance. You, you, you will stay there then, I guess. Good. So that's actually quite important because they are within three mm -hmm. of the um, thralls here. So even if they kill them now, they won't be able to charge. Good. So that's something. Good. The Alapex now. Ooh, these are really scary ones. Ooh. Into the spirit host. Yes. My blades. My blades. <laughs> uh, four hits okay. and three wounds. These three wounds. are damage one. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah, one has taken two wounds. Okay, uh, and now my chompers. <laughs> no, now... I wasn't sure how many wounds they had. <laughs> ham -nam -nam. Ham -nam -nam. Yeah, he's not within six inches of um, the Grimgast because they had model slain this turn, and uh, the because it's all simultaneous, this allocation would not happen no. until after, after he's fought, fact. basically, so I don't get the extra attack for him. Shame, because I missed Sorry. with two. And I do bite one. Two damage. One uh, damage, you've killed one. <coughs> hum, nam, 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 nam. The spirit hosts did attack me back. You yeah. did a wound to my shark and you I killed did a frog. Kill I killed a thrall. I did done kill the I did done. Look. Killed the frog. There's been a lot going on. Yeah. You've been killing my ghost and killing my brain. Yeah, I'm sorry. Very confusing. The Namati frawls attacking for the second time. They don't get to charge again, though. This is such a silly army. <laughs> it really is. It's very fun to use, admittedly. Oh, I bet you're enjoying it. That's why I just said it's yeah. very fun to use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze to wounds. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that okay. looks like a good That's eight, eight damage too because you have three wounds. Eight. It's fine. Eight four ups. Yep. That's my kind of, that's my jam. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. It's already working. No. It's not really working. 50% uh, success rate? Do you know As what? Eight damage. Because of my breathing blows. They're dead. Yeah. But I don't get to charge again because it's. If you could, that would be the silliest mechanic really ever. Outside of quite possibly. The... Most of the other armies in Yeah, I was going to say the crazy wild times you can do with the Seraphon. That, is, that was also a fun experience for me. I have a real great time playing against you specifically in Sigmar. It's always such a fun experience. Eels! 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 Into the Grimgast Reapers. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. ba, 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 ba. I'm going to be winning on two. This is my Hell Sabres. Okay. Winning on twos because of uh, Lotan Warden of the Soul Legends. What? Oh, oh, oh. What's your Dimarge? Uh, just the one. Six. Two damage, which okay. means two are dead. And now the ooze, ooze, ooze. Drop a couple. Okay. I uh, wound you. Oh, that's a really good. Like that's Six, the word. Seven. It. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are D three damage each. Okay. Roll your damage. Uh, three, seven. Uh, seven. Yeah. That's Quick. the same amount of wounds you did. Quick math. No, I'm not yet. Okay, very good. Yep, 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 yep. Stop dying. Yep, yep, Again. Yep, yep. I can't even use Lady of Invisibility. <laughs> the Namati falls down here into the Chain Rasps. Discorporate. I'm going to discorporate. It makes sense, because if I do manage to kill them, I will be able to charge. I don't want you to do that. <laughs> not again. Uh, I'm rerolling one because of my um, fighting stance, so that many hits. Freeze, twos to wound you because of low town, the warden of the soul ledgers. That many wounds. Uh, five, ten. Ten, ten to ten, ten, ten. He's a damage one. Okay. How many have I got left? Four? Four. Five ups. Okay. Try again. No. 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 Okay. No. No, they're dead. No, yep, yep. <laughs> Please roll the double one. That's not Whee! a double one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at the nonsense. I, no, I don't want to, but I will get revenge for the nonsense with my Maimon Banshees. Uh, they are within range of my chain gasps. gasps. Yes. So plus one hits. Indeed. Threes and threes. <laughs> right. Oh, there's auto wounds. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is six um, wounds with my chili daggers. Six wounds, is it? Ooh. Well, I don't get my five up ward anymore because I'm not wholly within six of my um, no, definitely not. boat. Um, now, I did put Mystic Shield, uh, Mystic Shield on them. Uh, all out defense on them, so six is here, but each one is two dead. Oh, there's 12 dead! That's oh, really bad! I deserved it! Okay, there's still some left alive, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting a little bit of a, a slap back, but murder. that was that was that was a right murder. right murder. Murder. Um, that's fine. I got thirteen attacks into those Mimorn. Mm -hmm. I will make you mourn. Full. Uh, I do get to reroll ones because of my fighting style. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I Three believe in to myself. wound you. Two to wound you because I'm holding within twelve of low town. Let me just double check that. I probably should have done that off camera so that we weren't doing this on camera to oh, save everyone time. But it's okay. Oh, we did it live. I still rolled two ones and it made zero difference to the actual wounding. Seven. Uh, seven. I can count so fast. Apparently so. We know. Right. These pesky banshees. I always have a problem with the banshees. Two I killed two. All right. Uh, fine. Well, I removed the banshees in such a way that Lady Alinda was could get into pile in. So my spectral so claws, I'm getting plus one to hit through my friends. Threes and fours Chain here. Chain ghosts. They're friends. Uh, I get an auto wound there. Mm -hmm. oh. That is three wounds, minus one. Five ups. Uh, you kill one. Okay, and then my staff of midnight. Ooh. Ooh. Twos to hit you here. Mm -hmm. Good job, two. Uh, uh, three, I know, I'm so smart. Uh, that is four wounds at minus two. Minus two, oh dear. Damage? Two. They're all dead! Good! You deserve that after everything you've put me through. I feel like after this turn, yes, I did deserve yes, that. Yes, yes, you really did. Well, that was a turn. Uh-huh. Uh, I did lose my own unit, which was very funny. So I very approve very greatly funny. of my tactical misplay. Nice one. I'm fine with it. Go you. Um, We've both brought back models with the reviving mechanics that we have. There was no Battleshock checks to do, so... All things considered, not shabby. No, I think I think that was an okay. To, like, I think I did all right. A little bit better. I could have done better because I could have nuked them as well. See now, because now here's the here. Shall I tell you the real scary thing? Because obviously, as we all know, I didn't have to get fight first yeah. next turn. The Dom Han ability with a big brick of twenty Namati frauls in turn three. That's horrible. Yeah. Because then it's just like, oh yeah, they're just. Go in a fight first twice before. Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty nasty. Oh, that, that, that. Um, is it gone now? But the, the big brick you is gone. You don't have any more. I just have the 10 over there. You don't there. have any more. Just the 10 over There's there. There's no more thralls. Just the 10 over there. No more thralls. My turn two. <laughs> turn two. Wow. Um, I've gone with mass panic for my battle tactic mm -hmm. um, because it means I just have to be in range of you and apparently I can't escape that. So that's what I've gone with. Mm -hmm. uh, I did heal Lady Linda. I only healed one wound, which is frustrating. I attempted to cast magic, but the only one that actually went off was Arcane Bolt with Lady Linda. There was a lot of primal magic flying around. Yeah. Lots of dispels. Yeah. Uh, very risky business. You nearly rolled, you rolled a one oh, and so a two I... on one and then primal magic yeah. it. Which well, is... there were two that I primal magic that I had a one rolled on them already, so... I'm just, just out of control. Yeah, yeah. The whales are living on the edge. I have bolted from the station. Did you say the whales are out of control? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's what I heard. You also said you also just said you bolted out the station. So you are a horse, I suppose. It's a bit or rude. a train? Or a train? Maybe a bus. No one knows. I am an enigma and a mystery. Wrapped inside of a box. <laughs> Falling back, because I'm allowed to do so because I'm a spoopy ghost, over, ooh, over here. Falling quite literally back, um, as will the friend. And, oh, do I want, do I, no, friend is, friend is gonna go over here. Shh. Falling forward. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything the is fine. Is I'm sorry, James. Sorry. Everything is fine. And then this collective unit of ghosts is, uh, is, is gonna come and help deal with things. Oh, this is very difficult because of your wings. Over here. This is what's happening. 
And maybe a lender as well. Oh, yep. Yeah, this is very difficult. This is a very spindly army. Shooting face. Mm. It's time to lift the veil. Ah. Uh, upon Idol and Matalan of the Sea. Sure. Oh. Take six mortal wounds. Well, I do have my five up ward, so Take that'll have you know. Take six mortal wounds. Um, oh, it's also worth pointing out I did do uh, Finest Hour on my Thrall Master. Yes. Not that that would have helped him here, but you know. Five up ward. I take five. Good. I'm I'm halved. Good. Halved. Good, 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 good. 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 I do have a team match here, and then that is my shooting phase down, so we can quickly move on to her, because she's just going to shoot the thralls. You also have chain ghasts. I forget that they, they shoot. They fling their magical chains. Um, okay, then we'll, we'll do the chain ghasts. Why not? Into the, the thralls. thralls. yeah. Okay. Fours and threes. There is still injured. That is... Oh, okay. Minus. Anyways, uh, minus. Missile weapons two. I don't get a save. Damage one. And you kill two. Good. And then my team match is going to scream at you. Ah! ah! One. I was too enthusiastic. Just the one. It's a hit and a wound. Is it? Spirit touch. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Not just me. Yeah, okay, attack. there you go. Just Minus two. So I kill damage another one. Save. Damage one. Yeah. No. Oh. Is it not like damage two? No. That's oh. her chili dagger. It's actually just a chili. Hilaro <laughs> hot. That's why she's on fire. I'm a dragon. Did you ever do that when it was cold? Oh, the t I still do that when it's cold. Yeah, so do I. You're lying if you say that you don't. Yeah. Well, you're a dragon or a shark then, Katie. We can't tell anymore. Dragon, dragon shark. clearly. Charges. Mm. I'm going to start with right on all the Grim Hailer. Mm. Yes. Mm. Seven will do it. My mm. tomb, Banshees. An eight. Okay. I'm going to ask you to move in first because I may want to unleash hell. Very well. I did do unleash hell with mm. the uh, reavers. Only three of the, uh, only two of them were in range, but I did you kill, kill two mimons. You did kill two banshees, but so now I will take it. Lady Alinda. Oh. Oh, Lady Alinda. Oh, we, yeah. Well, she can go wherever she wants. Yeah. Fine. We'll then come down here for my tomb banshee. Oh, the banshees. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Ghosts. okay. These are some really high charges. Oh, I actually need to pay attention to my charges because they do stuff to you. So they do. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. Mm. There's yeah. a lot of stuff that's happening. So essentially, these two units have strike last. Yep. Atalan has minus one to, to hit, hit and, and save. Minus one to save, yep. and your thrall master has minus one to save. Mm. You've also uh, shrieked at my thralls, so they will cost two CP to do. Ah. Now I have tried to just do all-out defense on Island of Mavland aspect of the sea. Would you like to roll for your more talk of grief ability? Oh yes, I would. It's on a five up. It's on a five up. Okay, no, it does go off. Thank fine. goodness. Um, that is a okay. You did hit me with your hooves and I, I saved hurt. anyway. Yep, nothing's gone through. Right in the Grim Hella, because you're a wizard, I'm getting plus one to hit and wound with my fell reaper. Mm. So twos and twos. Of course. This is always the way. Yep. Oh, okay. That is four at minus two. Minus two. So I have a three at base, minus one because of the shriek, yep. plus one because of all out defense. And then minus two for five the... up saves. Yes. Cool. So I saved two damage. Damage two each, so that's four. Five up wards. Oh, okay, I've got wounds. two wounds remaining okay. on Eidolon and Mathlan Aspect of the Sea. Okay, but now it's your turn to attack. Yeah, it'll be Eidolon and Mathlan Aspect of the Sea. <laughs> I'm attacking with Eidolon and Mathlan Aspect of the Sea in um, putting all of my attacks into the Mymorn Banshees. As they're disappearing, I would have discorporated. I understand. Um, now, my fish and my scepter did nothing, but now I have the Psy Trident. Mm. I hit you all of the times, yes, even with the minus one, thank goodness. Okay. Two's to win because of Lotan, Warden of the Soul Ledges. Oh, one. Okay. Two saves, please. He's a damage two. Five ups. Oh, I get They're them. dead. Just. Yes, they are dead. They finally eluded me no longer. Wait, they what? They go for the sleep nap. What? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Alinda is putting everything. Has, has Paldran is putting all of her attacks into uh, Eidolon, Mathalan, Aspect of the Sea. Uh, Eidolon of Matalan, Aspect of the Maul. Right. Uh, the Spectral Claws have got four wounds. Through. Four wounds, is four it? Four whole wounds! Uh, because of the varying pluses and minuses, it's a four up save. Five up wards. Are you gonna. You not even. Lady Lynn is not even gonna bring out the stick. Yeah, she doesn't need to. He dies. Good. <laughs> Goodbye. He goes sleep nap. Yeah, he sleep, goes sleep nap. He goes sleep nap now. <laughs> the Achillean Thrall Master. He will try to do all out attack. The Mordog of Grief, however, says. No. no. Okay, that's fine. But it does cost me the CP. That's fine because I couldn't do anything over there realistically. Anyway, so um, I did my vicious bite off camera. Nothing happened anyway. The esoteric weapons. 
Ooh, that plus Ooh. one to hit would have been nice. Ooh, Lady Olinda. Two to wound you, however. It is one, two, three wounds. They are damaged two, so it's four damage. I can't kill her. Four up ward. But I do do two damage. Two wounds, fine. Okay. I okay. cannot. Mm. I literally do not care. Chain ghasts, mm. everything in shock. Mm. Uh, obviously, they benefit from their own aura. So threes and threes. That's already an auto wound there. Mm. Minus two. two. Yeah, two at minus two. Six up. No, damage one. Okay. So uh, could you... Um, oh, so he has uh, got one wound remaining because he has been taking damage. I've marked it up on my data cards. Well... He took damage earlier, didn't he? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll take that away then. Uh, the Tomb Banshee will also go into him with her chili dagger. These will be twos and threes. Good job, too. That, too. Wow. He's alive with a wound. Now, he will be cursed in a minute. Cursed. But he will get to cursed. do the chompers first. No. The frawls have piled in to the Banshee. Freeze and freeze. Du, du, du. Don't mess with the Banshee. They're quite horrifying creatures. Ooh. Do not mess with the Banshee. No, okay. Two wounds? Uh, just the two. Don't mess with the Banshee. All right. Um, you have no more attacks, so I'll just do Shork. the Shork. Shork. Um, I'm going to eat the Chain Ghasts. Um. Uh, three attacks, sorry, six attacks with the Hell Sabres and barbed stuff. Yes. <laughs> I wound you three times. Onto Chain Ghasts, yes? This is all onto Chain Ghasts. Uh, damage one. So. Okay. Uh, the chompers, uh, um, because um, nothing um, um, is uh, wounded over here right. other than myself, I don't get the extra attack. That's kind of what I was oh, hoping for with sad. the Namartes. Uh, I only hit you the once, okay. and I don't wound you. Interesting. Well, that's that. I did, um, at the start of the battlestruck phase, unleash my arcane bolt, and I did a wound to a thrall. Indeed, he um, has three remaining. I did get my battle tactic, though I'm not on any objectives. Mm -hmm. But that's fine, because on a two-up, I kill your shark with the curse. The curse. The curse. He, he, oh, he's, with a six, yeah. no less, it's with style. Well, how many mortal wounds would you have done, just out of interest? Super stylish! Ooh, two, One six in 36 zero. chance, that. Oh, right. So the shark is removed yes. in a moment. No, uh, but I'm removing it yeah, now. No battle truck to do. Priority. After you this time. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. I think I might take that priority. Oh, little chicken, little, little chicken, turn oh, turn it was a good hit back that turn, actually. Like, yes. Yeah. We'll see what I can do with six models on the table. Well, I am behind in points, mm. which means I get to explode some objectives. Yeah, maybe so they'll be more effective than me. So naturally, I'm going to do the ones that everything's around. So this objective down here, your Namati Reavers. The Reavers. They're fine. Uh, the character that's down there that the is in The Soul range. Render is fine. Okay, and down here, you've got your R, uh, the Squad of Reavers. Fine. Low Town Warden of the Soul Ledgers. He takes D3 Mortal Wounds. <laughs> or does he? He does. How many minutes do you have left? Two. Hilarious. Um... Your Thrall Master. Does go off. He takes three. So is there, has he healed now? Or has he still already taken one wound? Because from Lady Linda's Arcane Bolt. No, he took he took two wounds. Oh, uh, two wounds total. Yes. Two wounds total. So three. So he does have three wounds remaining. <gasps> Five up ward from the boat. He's got oh. a wound remaining. A wound remaining, I'll have you know. Lady Linda. Yes. Okay, so she won't Do die. Do I die? She takes one. Okay, so she's got two wounds left. And then Riken on the Grim Healer. Mm. It's fine. Okay, so interesting. Oh, Very got, interesting. I got it! I got it! Yay! <laughs> I get to explode it. Don't take this away from me. Oh. oh, now the objectives are very far away. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is a weird mission. It's hilarious. Right. It's exciting times. It's just very stressful times. Um, I have gone with... Well, what's it called? Intimidate the invaders because yes. I'm pretty much not going to be in my deployment zone. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this time. Um, there's no need for me to be over here anymore. So that's gone off. Uh, a couple of spells have casted. As a result, I've killed four of your... Reavers. Reavers yes. in the middle there. You did deny me my arcane bolt though. Indeed. Which stops yep. me from uh, trying to kill your throat. Yep. But 
I have other methods and means with Indeed. which is to it? murder. Yes. Um, so that is that. Yep. I'm uh, going to do some falling back and see what I can do. Okay. Uh, just worth pointing out as well, I did heal a wound with her recovery yes. for uh, low town and And I attempted to get a command point with my two banshee and I failed. Okay. So, yes. My two banshees are just going to fall back. Chain guards? To here. That's the one. <laughs> uh, but the two banshee is still in combat with you. Ah, yes. Yes. Of Oh, Blade Point, stand up. <laughs> Silly unbalanced models. Fletcher, this is all your fault. This is true. The two Manchi will also fall back. I will redeploy. There we go. Uh, from my uh, soul scry down here, who did bring a Namati fall back in the last Battleshock phase. So, um, forgot to mention that. Um, because I've gone second, I can redeploy uh, uh, again, but it has to be from him. Yes. Hup! A fun. Oh, okay. We're mm. going to scoot along that way. Raikonor is then going to be retreating up this way. There we go. Oh, he's falling. Oh down. dear. I'll be Very redeploying delicate. with those Reavers as well from the Soul Scryer. I understand. Render. Soul Render. That's his name. And Lady Alinda is also doing a very similar thing. She's just going to be coming around to here. I only redeployed two. It's very sad. Yes. And my Spirit Torment is also flying over to provide a bubble orb plus one to a hit. One thing to note, I did redeploy with the Reavers because they were just within nine of Lady Linda when she finished her move. Yes. And now it is the shooting phase and because Lifting the Veil is a ability, uh, yeah. a shooting attack, um, I will attempt to kill your thrall. No, you won't. Nope, never mind. Charges have been made. Mm -hmm. um, I have got my Raikonaut into the Reavers. Yes. Alinda and Spirit Torment into your thrall master and then my Grimgasts and the two magic into your reavers. Thralls. Thralls. Close. I was doing close. so good. Very close. Um, oh, everything has minus one to hit. Yeah. And these also have strike glass, so fighting normally. And because we're in the high tide, I get fight first, so they counter each other out. We're going to kick off with the Kellyan Thrall Master. Going now, to the Spirit Torment, right? No, Lady Alinda. I would like to spend a CP on all out attack, please. Lady Alinda says no. She goes, oh! You can consume your command. So I will be hitting on fours. Okay. Because of the minus one. Two is remaining. But I will start with my fish. It is the way. Never mind. But you've been distracted by the... Ew! Ooh! Five attacks. Yes. Fours and twos because of low town. Warden of the Soul Lord. I hit you. Three times. Three times? I wound you. I don't know why. I don't know what I this don't is. No, no, you're doing some magic. No. I wound you three times. For up safe. Lady Alinda takes four damage. She does have a four up ward save, but she has two wounds remaining. Statistics dictate that she will live. Damn it. She takes a single wound. Oh, we've got a wound apiece. It's Ooh, fine. Oh, the battle begins. Exciting. I attacked with the Reavers <laughs> into, into Raikonor. Nothing yep. happened. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Chain Ghasts next um, because you then get to activate with your unit. Mm -hmm. uh, so, threes and threes. Well, fine. Uh, that is two wounds at minus two. I damage because I don't one. get a save. Damage one. Five awards because okay, never mind. You two die. die. Okay. Okay. Um, forgive me. I thought that Lotan couldn't attack because um, he's not. He's within three inches because he's inside the boat. But actually, the tentacles have a three inch range. So we'll do those attacks in a minute. The octopus slivers <laughs> out of the Whoa. back. And just goes like this, bonk, onto Raikonor. I like, I like an octopus. Because I don't believe, could you, oh, I've got one here. I don't believe, no, you're not within three inches. That's very lucky. Because yes. otherwise an octopus would have eaten. Should I kill these two from the back here? Uh, as long as I'm still in coherency, I think it's fine, yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The octopus did three wounds to Raikonor, oh, the Grimhaler. Yes. Lad. I'm now going to attack over here with my thralls. Um, I bounced off of the uh, chain ghast with yes. two of them. Um, I have spent a command point on discorporate for my two banshees. Well. well, that's a good thing too, because I'm about to cleave her to pieces. Maybe. No. That minus one to hit is really annoying. So no, I'm not. No. Okay. Move swiftly on. Yes. Raikonor next. Mm. Uh, my hoofs and tiffs have managed to successfully kill one reaper. Yes. And now my fell reaper. Yeah. Um, I am within range of... My friendy boy. So these will be my twos. I mean. One win. Three wins. Three. Minus two here. Don't get a save. So damage. damage two, so six. 
World saves. Come on now. Actually do something. Uh, that is the unit white. Okay. Go Raikonor. Out of disrespect to your uh, Thrallmaster, Lady Alindra is going to start with her Spectral Claws because you have one wound left and you're not worth her staff. That's what um, I get for it, being It's me. also worth pointing out that um, because maths is hard, there was one yes. left alive, but I can't pass Battleshock, so I've just removed the, yep. the unit. Because I'm scary, um, you're not allowed to use insane bravery around me. No, and the, hit, the, the reviving happens at the end of the Battleshock specifically. So my Spectral Claws will be hitting on threes because of my Spirit Torment. So that is already one. Do you mean the Chain Ghast all the way over there? You're right. So fours. Fours. Two wins. Two wins. Uh, minus. Uh, just the one on the spectral clock. Okay, so five up saves here, um, and I don't get a ward save because all my fish are scared by the fact that you're within three inches. I'm very scary. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now. Goodbye. Now. Goodbye. Now. Goodbye. Now. Mmm, I need to roll a one over there. The thralls. A one! Yes! <laughs> okay. Yes! That is fair enough. Um, so then I, I will said. pop the soul render. Now this is really important. Because this could steal the objective. If I bring back at least two models, mm -hmm. I will contest the objective. Because these are two wound models, so they're only worth one each. But it's, the Tomb Banshee is two. worth two models because she's a character. Hup! Oh, I steal it back from you. That Ooh. is really crucial. That denies me holding one and more. Yes. Holy but moly. I do get my battle tactic. You do get your battle tactic, which was murderized because um, there's nothing in your in your, in your deployment zone. Yes, but now you 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 have your turn. Ooh. <laughs> right. Assassins of the high seas, that's what I'm calling it. Mm -hmm. Yar, the assassins of the high seas. Uh, voice, James. Assassins of the high tide, but okay. of the high sea sounds better to me, personally. Yar. Uh, so, I need to kill two units this. because I'm in high tide, so that's good. Cool. Very, very nice. We both have a primal magic dice, so I've got two in my pool here. You do? I've healed uh, Lady Alinda for one wound. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, I, oh, I need to try and get a CP with my, I'll do it with my soul render. I do because my general's yeah, dead. He is. So that's something. Super dead. Cool. The Tidecaster will attempt to cast Riptide on Riken or the Grimhaven. It's cast on a seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a primal magic dice to that. It's risky business. Okay. Whew. Goes off with a, um, nine. a nine. You are minus one because of his Dritch Leech. So even with a primal yeah. magic, you will fail. It's D3 mortal wounds oh, and yeah. minus one to hit. And minus one to hit. D3 mortal. Oh! D3 mortal wounds. Oh, I need the one. Just one. Okay, so he's got two wounds remaining. That's fine. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, the tie caster is the optimal focus mm -hmm. for me, so I you can, can cast, um, two. cast two because she is an Andorian locus. I need to think about the spell that I'm going to cast. No other spells were cast. I, uh, I tried to do an arcane bolt and you dispelled it, and then I tried to bring in my uh, Emerald Life Swarm, and even with Primal Magic, you. You denied it. So that's that. I'm going to do some movement now. The eels. Mm. Eels, eels, eels. Mm. Uh, three inches away, of course. Let's try not to knock the boat. Oh, maybe oh, I knock the boat, really knock Lady the boat, Linda. Baby. Yeah, you probably should. I probably should. Yeah, you probably should. I probably should. I managed to redeploy five inches with Lady Linda and hopefully keep her safe. <laughs> it's an impressive, impressive redeploy. She will need it. The soul render jumps up to here. So that he can use his re uh, his uh, CP on them to give them uh, reroll charge if required. The tie cast is just going to jump to here, and the reavers will move here, so that we've got a choice of targets between Raikonor and other units. We will start and end the shooting phase because there's no other shooting yeah. with the reavers. Um, five into Raikonor, five into the chain ghasts. The five in the chain ghasts are within nine inches, so they will be hitting on two. Okay. The ones into Raikonor will not. No. Into the chain ghasts. Okay. Ha! Okay. Drop a couple. But that is six. Six. Six into the chain ghasts. Four up six. Damage one. Damage one. They are dead. Very good. Yes, because they're only. Oh, no, they're... yeah, just because they are two wins. Yes. Into Raikonor, the Grim Healer. Okay. Mm. Murder. Okay. Four wounds. Four. He has two wounds remaining. Oh. Okay. 
Two sixes are required here. Oh. So close, right? Nor is it. Battle tactic. That's your achieved. battle tactic. Charge face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so a lady Yolinda is dead. <laughs> 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 Well, because everything has fight first, it doesn't matter what order I You'll say charge today. I, oh yes, there's the soul Don't render. Don't forget! The soul renders fish did nothing, but oh. the talon hook, or talon hook, is um, it's T-A-L-U with a, not an umlaut, but like an apostrophe over it. So okay, it's like yeah. sort of Celtic accent. Strict right. accent, that's it. So it's like Celtic Gaelic, so I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Mm. But I can't pronounce words good anyway. So, talon hook. It's part of your charm. I hit you twice. Probably your only charm. Oh, my dice is gone. I wound you once. Okay, very good. <laughs> uh, we'll go good over good to the frawls. By the time they've piled in, they'll all be able to attack. So 11 attacks. 11 attacks, I'll have you know. Move them in for you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. 11 attacks, I'll have you know. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, the steam is running out for the fishmen. Ha! Ah, I wound you three times. Three times? Three times. Actually, yeah, interestingly, um, the... She's tanked a lot. That's two damage. Two damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, interestingly, the unmodifiable saves really does so much work. It really does. The, um... It really does. Yeah. Um, which, is, which is also quite interesting because a lot of this army is rendered one, rendered yeah. two. So, yes. But now... Ooh. 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 We will start with the riders themselves. Oh, okay, we're going straight into it, are we? Um, I've got no command points left, so... I can't do, well, I mean, she can't do anything on a lender anyway, but. Yeah, I have nothing to issue on them. No. Because I'm all the way over there. He's the only they one with CP. They have no leader. Um, do, uh, well, no, do... I don't have any CP in general. No. The CP is specifically on him. Mm. Uh, I feel a Linda would face her quarry. Yeah, well. Forgive me. Around, Forgive around. me, everyone. Oh. Be very careful. She's a very yeah, I don't model. Yeah, I don't want to pick I her up like by the model. so much on her. Thank you. Thank she you. has returned. Oh. You wouldn't want to be in those eels, would you? Right. Does like a little jelly deal. So, freeze. Oh, some quite impressive bounce there. Freeze to wo to hit you. The hell We're savers. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. It's twos to wound two's because to of low town the warden of the soul ledges. I'm wholly within twelve of him in his boat. Bought. Bought. I wound you a lot. Eight times, in fact. Fours. Fours and fours. These are damage one. Oh, it's a good roll. Well, it's 50-50. Uh, she's taken how many wounds? She's got two wounds remaining. She's taken five. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, she <laughs> did exactly! Um, I would have put all my attacks into yeah, her, obviously. so the eels are wasted. Oh. The Spirit yeah. Torment does get to attack me back, as does the Banshee. Yay! My Spirit Torment did but my two match is going to go into your thralls. I will issue uh, all out um, defense on them from the Soul Renders uh, CP. I understand. A wound. Six up save. Okay. Go. There we well, go. Well, there you go. Well, now I'm going to use his Hangman's yes. Not ability. So at the end of the combat Ooh. phase, you can pick one enemy model that has a wounds characteristic of seven or less, does not have a mount, and is within three inches of this unit. Which I am. But I tick, tick, tick. I roll 2d6. If it's greater than that enemy model's wounds characteristic, so five, you are slain. That's not greater. That's not that's slain. Equal. This pesky banshee has just not died yet. Okay. Well, okay. that is your turn. That is you my turn. You get your battle tactic. I get my battle tactic and I'm and holding, holding one and more. One and more. Um, I bring d3 models back to that unit. What? One again. Okay. The one, he needed to power up that one time. He was saving it. Now he's just like, right, let's calm down. However. So I'll, I'll put one back in a minute. However. Priority. After me this time. After thee. Okay. Okay. You'll take the turn? That I will. Yeah. Butter and fall. You have more, uh, you have more points than I do. You're ahead. And I think it's only fitting that this game ends with a bang. <laughs> no objections for you. Okay. On your thralls. Okay. Yep. You kill three of them. They don't have a ward save anymore. Ooh. Was he Dies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your, your character. Yep. It's okay. Fine. He's just he just watches just this thing happen. Just go, the heck. <laughs> Two, three. She is the explosion. You go, yeah. yeah. She um, immolates. And then and then yes, that, yes. 
Well, you you, you <laughs> have a spirit torment. Okay. I have a spirit torment. <laughs> okay. And you fall good. back and shout. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Uh, yeah, wow. That uh, was an interesting so game. much is dead. I thought, genuinely, and obviously it has gone that way. I thought you were absolutely just going to wreck me in, in Battleground uh, 2 and After three. my turn two, I was like, oh, well, no. Well, even after your turn one, because you, you double tapped me going from one into two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I was just like, cool, yeah. you can just wipe most of my army. The, the, the double charge with the 20 yeah. man unit weirdly did not work in my favor. No, because I just uh, murdered you. Yeah, you murdered me back. Yep. Um, but yeah, that in turn three is horrible, I imagine, if you've got a big brick of 20 of them, or maybe even 30 of them, Don't plus the low tan buffs yeah. and the full marks. Like, so you need obviously the investment in it. Yep. Um, but I, I actually quite like the Dom Han uh, with the Namatis. It's uh, quite fun. Giving them the yeah. ability to redeploy multiple times if you're going second or get potentially mm -hmm. double charges off if you're going first in about a round. It gives you some nice utility. Um, yeah. Uh, what a game. Yeah. What a Savage. Game. Everything yeah. is dead. I have no notes. No notes. No notes. No notes. Um, the exploding... <sighs> Amazingly fun. Just blow up, an exp uh, blow up an objective. We're in battle round four and there are no objectives left, left on the battlefield. Right. That's hilarious. Now, this season, your Geomantic Pulse moves along. You've got Nexus Collapse, where you remove objectives and they explode. You've got Lines of Communication, where you can just, like, cause your opponent to spend multiple CP. You've got Every Step is Forward, where you've got, like, you always count as multiple models that count like, every model counts as plus one, but you, if you retreat, you can't contest objectives at mm -hmm. all. You've got ones where the wizards explode and you can start in combat and you get a wizard's tower and stuff and it's all really interesting it's all really quite fun and fluffy it's really interesting mission design they all feel very narrative and some of these don't feel competitively no, balanced i don't i yeah I again don't. i'm talking from a very very minor understanding of the competitive sigma scene but i read it i read like the frigid zephyr it's like well if i've got a shooting army I can't shoot you unless I'm within 12, in which case I'm in trouble. So it does. It feels like, I don't know, maybe that is a requirement of, of a leveler. Let me know competitive Sigma players down below. Yeah. Um, but I read these and go, these are all really fun, interesting We're missions. And they're really, really cool silly. to play. But they definitely feel like more narrative missions mm -hmm. than this was designed for competitive yeah, balance. Because some of them don't feel balanced. Um, depending on your army makeup, of course. So maybe that is what makes the season interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about this being active for the next year rather than yeah. six months. Yeah. But well, again, I don't play it. Unfortunately, we, so. we do play. We do play for fun. So it works very much for our purposes. It works great for us. Top tactics. And I had a lot of fun with the ghosts. They're yeah. very silly. They are um, very silly. Yeah, I, I kind of just was very aggressive with them this time because I wasn't so aggressive with them last time and I didn't get to do a lot of things. I feel like I did so much more. You definitely this did this time. Um, and also, yeah, I was saying the, um, the, the unmodifiable save really helps them out really in a lot of places. Up. Really, 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 really stack up. So things just stick around yeah. really do. But on the flip side, with that unmodifiable save, mm -hmm. that's great. You know that you're basically getting a four up. <laughs> There's no, you know, a lot of the other armies can sort of reach like two up, three up yeah. saves. So you don't yeah. quite... You don't get the benefit of that, although yeah. you, you get the ward, but then again, a five yeah. up on a ward is not... And your stuff is basically like one wound. It. I feel yeah. like it feels great on the littler stuff, but can yes. sometimes feel a bit of a feels battle on the big stuff. Yeah. Like you get like the Bellacore situation. Well, it's like, yeah. like Lady Linda with a four up set. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like... to be fair, she does have a four up ward. A four up ward as well. And she benefits massively from the new lookout, sir. Um, yes, because you can't shoot true. her at all if she's very, next to you. Very, very true. But um, it is very fun. Um, yeah. I, just, I had a lot of fun. Good. That, that, that's what we want to do. Um... I suppose, oh. Oh? <gasps> James. James. You're gonna, you, you need to. Put down the camera, James. What? Put the camera down. You need to tell story us your story. Time. Your story about story Sally time. in the woods. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay, I'll pull up a chair for you, James. Pull up a chair. Pull up a chair. Oh, stuff's falling over. We're doing it live, everyone. <laughs> <We're> doing it <laughs> live. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can tell that we, we've gotten to a weird point in the day, everyone. Uh, it's going to take backstage live streams, podcasts. Ghost Could you move in just a little bit that way, James? This way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, tell us what happened. Maybe give a little bit of well, I'll, no, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll say the original story, and uh, then yeah. we'll save the other story for a certain, maybe a Halloween special I have planned. So, it's a dark and stormy night. It's not, <laughs> it was dark. I'd actually got to see um, a friend of the friend of the show, Mr. Sir David... Ah, um, oh, Sir David Staines. Uh, um, doing David. the Floor Hammer podcast with him, had a very lovely time. It was a bit of a technical issue, so I'm leaving his late after filming the podcast. 
So I'm driving back to my car. I don't know I'm having to do actions, but hopefully this is helps you imagine. Um, so I'm driving along in my car, and I'm driving along like roads, all country roads around in like the southwest where we are. And I'm driving along, and like there's a car coming towards me, high beams on. So I'm like, oh, I've got my high beams on. So he turns his off, I turn mine off. I'm like, oh, that was that was like really bright. I then go to turn my high beams back on as I pass the car, and it's like, ah, lady in the trees. I'm like, whoa, whoa, that was really weird. So I start slowing down to sort of be like, oh, like there's a random person in the woods. P should probably check that this person's okay. Y yes. Lady in the trees. And as I'm driving past, I'm slowing down. I'm like, okay, so I look behind me to see if the person's still there. There's nobody there. The person in the woods has vanished, just completely gone. So I was like, this is really weird. Um, now, if you live in the Southwest, you might know where the story's going. And this is the bit I didn't know. So I'm like, oh, this is really weird. T I told everyone the next day at work, like this happened to me. This is really strange. Everyone was like, oh, maybe it was someone like, maybe, you know, had, had too much to drink and wandered off into the woods. Maybe they fell over. I was really worried. I was like, well, I hope this person's okay. Anyway, I then I'm t telling this story to um, somebody a few weeks later. And they're like, they go like, I'm telling the whole story, like where it is. They're like, they suddenly go like proper, like, like, where were you? I was like, oh, like on this road. They're like, get out a map. Like, what road were you on? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that road. And they're like, that's Sally. So in my head, I'm like, oh, like a local, like maybe <laughs> like, a local like, drunk yeah, or local, something. Local wino, yeah. <laughs> like someone that just wanders around in the woods. And they're like, no, it's like a really famous ghost called Sally. I'm like, come again, what? And then I start doing some research. And apparently it's one of the more famous ghost sightings in the UK. To the point of, if you Google this right now, Finish Sally in the, in the woods. woods. Sally in the woods. Finish here, then Google Sally in the woods. woods. Loads of stuff will come up. So I'm now doing this after I've had this conversation. And then I think I came in like, the week, like the Monday after, we like, oh my god, this thing happened. And in the old studio, where the studio was, it wasn't like where the painting area is. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling this story to you guys. Go back down to the office where Fletcher is, and Fletcher's from this area. Again, start telling the same story. He meets goes, what, Sally? I'm like, why does everyone around here know who, yeah, what this it is? Happened, it happened again because the first time you took my, me and my partner to go climbing, you, yeah. were, you were retelling the story yes. and there were people in the climbing gym behind us going, oh, you saw Sally? Sorry. I was like, I, 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 honestly, it's all those weird things. People. I had no idea that this story was a thing. No idea that this existed. I was just pootling along after seeing Dave. So I blame you, Dave. Um, and then see a person in the woods. And apparently I've seen the ghost, so. Yeah. There you go. So that's part one. <laughs> part one. So then part two was then recently I was driving home. There was like a road closure. Were like, you coming back from Dave's again? No, this was separate. Like, this, this, was this, separate this wasn't Dave's separate fault. Separate outing. So this is the thing. It's obviously at the time I felt really weirded out by the whole seeing a person in the woods anyway. Because like, I hope they're okay. But did something made me feel very uncomfortable about the whole experience. So then, uh, this is more recently, driving home. There's a road closed, big police incident, and they're like, oh, you've got to turn around or go up this side road. So I'm like, okay, cool, go up this side road. Now I've like vowed to never go on that road again, because I'm like, and I'm going on all these country roads, have to figure out on my maps, like pulling over, being like, where am I? Trying to get home. And eventually I'm like, do a like, left turn, then a right turn, then a left turn. And then I like turn onto this road, and you know in Lord of the Rings, where they're walking get off the road, and the trees are like, ooh, I was like, Oh, this is the road. <laughs> this is the road. Didn't see anything, but as soon as I got to that road, it's almost like my fight or flight. She called you back. Immediately, like my soul was like, run, flee, hide. I'd she also like back. to point out that since you had that first encounter, we in the office and the studio have been cursed. Like really weird things have been happening. Things have gone missing. Like random things were just broke. Last time I played the ghost, the lights just went off. Yeah. So, like, so we think Sally has attached herself to you and is now touched. haunting the studio. So if you're a, you're a witch or a Wiccan, I need some help. <laughs> yep. 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 Send send an exorcist. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that's my story. <laughs> and if you want more ghost stories, uh, stay right here on the boat. Where apparently this is what we do. This now. is what we do now. We are a ghost story channel. This is a ghost story oh, channel. Should we just start a ghost story podcast instead of? The well, there will but there will be a potentially Halloween special. Halloween special. In the works. Um, obviously the way the warp works, I'm not sure. The podcast is probably out now, potentially. Who knows? Who knows? But not, maybe. Not, not I. No. Sally might. Sally might. I'll give her a buzz later. Sally, what are you up to? She's like, <laughs> you're uh, what, just chilling in the wood, <laughs> murdering, <laughs> murdering vagabonds. Yeah. You know, the huge. Um, but yeah, go Google Sally the Woods. Um, hopefully that proves I'm not insane. Oh well. Yeah. On that note, thank you for the ghost story to, to round it off. <laughs> Endless welcome. spell. Thank you for the game. Thank you for the game, and thank you for watching. I have been the pastry chef, she has been the jinx, 
Our endless spell has been Spirit Touched by Sally in the Woods, it is the Bard. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that creeps me out so much. <laughs> you have been bosses and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye-bye!